Okay, now we got some free on freeze going on freaking Yu-Gi-Oh right now. We got PC and some mad shit going on. So in this episode, it was mainly just build up. I was gonna say like we're gonna get the set of Yuma versus the LDS, and yes, I know that sounds like a sexually transmitted disease next to STD, but we're gonna go with it. Like the Leo Dual School, then I should say, are pretty much a little bit but hurt that you know fucking Sawatari got taken down, and not to mention as well like the mother of like the leader came back and it was like oh the one that assaulted him who used like you know xyz's and i was like really you're trying to point it on like yuya because it's like oh that was yuya and i i'm sorry but sawatari is such a bad character he is so annoying at this point like when you see him in the opening you think he's gonna be this cool rival but let's be honest he's a fucking scrub lord he is an absolute scrub and he's there in a hospital banging his broken arm like that which i honestly how the fuck do you get a broken arm from that that game i know it started to become a little bit realistic but he nowhere ever got hit in the fucking arm anywhere and when he was there, he's like bashing his eye. You do know that's broken. It's like he's just faking it. And his fucking crusty dad's like, oh, I'll get revenge on you, Zalatari. And it was just like, he honestly looks like the fat, perverted guy from fucking To Love Rue. That's how fucking bad his dad was. It, it honestly looked like that. And not to mention as well, like, Yuzu started to doubt fucking, um, it's just you, yeah. I was like, what are you going on? It's just like, you started to doubt him. And even like the, um, Woman started like the freaking new woman just came in saying like, "Oh, it was your fault. Like this is uh, you know Yuzu's fault. He was the one that did it." And Yuzu started doubting it and saying that like, I did see it. And it was like, "Yeah, the guy did look like you. Yeah, she don't want to you know say oh, it was playing up Yuya straight out because you know at the end of the day she freaking cares for Yuya. It's like like yeah, it's just weird. It's like saying like how could you doubt him? It's like a completely p different person how could he suddenly have blue hair and then suddenly get back to you with like red hair and green or what like, there's like six different colors of fucking Yuya's hair like it's weird and it's like okay to settle the score we're gonna have a three on three if they win they sell the score it wasn't him if they if LDS wins though they're gonna take over the score this is how they've been doing it this reminds me of sort of the old days in GX how you used to freaking do shit it's like yeah we win then we get the score you know or we do that or we upgrade to you know slight the red obelisk blue you know shit like that that, that kind of gets me a little bit excited I was like I'm really looking forward to seeing what we got and what they said to make it even more interesting is that the three participants we're gonna be happen um, having is uh, Yuya Yuzu and Sola. And I was like, okay, we're going to be interested. Because, you know, we've got Pendulum, we've got Fusion, and then Yuzu as well. Because I noticed as well in this episode, Sora's, you know, he was being a little bit sly about some shit. So I think Sora knows a little bit more than what he's catching on to about both this and also the new person as well. And it's like, I'm glad that there's people in the duel and all that. I, I want to see more because from what we saw so far, a Sora, Sora's fight was kind of like really disappointing because his cars were so fucking shitty. But it's like, we see from what, what the people that the woman's got, is like we've actually got three other leads. So we've, you know, we've got fusions, we've got synchros, you've got XYZs, and it seems like Sora's going to get go against Hokuto, which, you know, if you don't know, that means star. So he's probably going to be, he's going to go be going against the XYZ, which honestly, he'd be going against the synchro. But it's like, yeah, this is going to be a cool thing. It's like the, the first person to get two wins, you know, wins. And it's like, I don't know how it's going to work. Is it like, are you just going to keep playing as you go on? Do you restart your duels? Or is it like, oh, if um, Yuya wins one match, does he have to stay out and, you know, let Sora and Yuzu do the others? I'm I'm curious at the moment what they're going to do. It's like, since they have got, you know, Fusion XYZ. It's like, uh, it's like does it just seem like to me or something? Or are they just actually just going to, like, branch away ritual monsters now? Because it's like... That's a shame. I, I want to see Ritual Monsters back. Like, um, that's the one thing I really wanted to see. And it's like, oh, you just going to lose against this guy because he's got 58, like, matches and he's 153. And then it's like over a 90%, you know, thing as well. It's, it's you, you're in the end day. You, you'll kick this guy's ass. And for what I saw from the um, preview, um, you guys are probably going to look forward to it because he's actually using a Constella deck um, for people who are not going uh, to that much into like the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG then the Cancela decks are actually a pretty fucking solid XYZ deck and I'm looking forward to that see if like if we're gonna have the same level of you know Constellas as we do in the anime so this one was just a solid build-up one I'm looking forward to it I'm just happy that they're bringing back cards 
Like, you even saw, like, in part of the uh, late episode, you saw, like, Curse of Dragon and shit. It's like, it just gets that nostalgia in me, guys. It's like, I love it. I mean, yeah, sure, the next match is going to be XYZs, but it's Constellas. That's something that never got into the anime of uh, DL, which is like, why was it? Like, but for the next match, we're going to be having, you know, um, Yuya versus um, Hokuto. Uh, Seems like an alright match. I don't know. Like, um, I mean, last match we had with against Sora was a little bit uh, crusty, and the last good match we had was like just literally like two turns, which was like against that dark Yuya guy versus fucking Sawatari. It's fucking Sawatari at the end of the day. He's fucking like monarchs and other shit he can get, but it's like, oh no, it was a solid six and a half this week. I thought it was a solid episode. Really enjoyed it. Not too much in that. It's just that we're getting more fresh, and hopefully. Next week, we'll be getting some stuff. And also as well, I'd say, you know, I'm really glad they're actually really working on the translations. So, good fucking work, guys. If you actually do where the fucking watch these videos, then yeah. Good work, guys, on translations. Keep it up. Like, you're doing it weekly. I'm like, I don't even get the fuck you through a day later or anything. Just as long as we get it, at least in that time frame. But that's all for me. I want to thank them for watching. As always, remember, I'll see you guys next time. And strike like a panda.